Which is better, an SSD or a hard drive? Honestly, it's sort of like asking, which is better, a motorcycle or a semi-truck? All right, so you might be sitting there going, that's a weird thing to say, Linus. Why would you say something like that? And the answer is because they're really not that comparable. They're just different. Let's start with performance. When it comes to raw speed, SSDs are faster. I see many folks comparing the sequential speed of an SSD to the sequential speed of a hard drive and saying, oh, well, they're kind of similar. But the reality of it is, unless you copy large files back and forth all day, this specification is pretty much meaningless. I'm serious. It it has nothing to do with the way that they will that you will perceive the performance in the real world. SSDs are all about little data transactions that happen all the time, all over the place when you're running something like an operating system on them. You know, an instant message comes through, uh, a program launches and needs to access a ton of little files all over the place. These are the times when not having to physically move ahead across a disk allows an SSD to utterly destroy a hard drive in terms of performance. In system responsiveness, any modern SSD will be easily several times faster than any hard drive and sometimes much more than that. Okay, that's great, but what if you have lots of data to store and that's your main concern? It's not like playing back video or music files or looking at your archive of pictures requires blazing fast performance, so this is where hard drives still excel. At the time of filming this, $160 buys you either a 256 gigabyte SSD or a four terabyte, yes, a 16 times larger hard drive. For that kind of difference in price per gig, you could literally build two hard drive based storage boxes and have one of them set up as an offsite backup with the money that you saved by not using an SSD based backup solution. So yes, folks, for mass storage of data, we are a long way away from hard drives being replaced by SSDs. Okay, but what about reliability? Now this one's a little bit complicated. Hard drives are pretty reliable these days, but as devices with moving parts, they will die eventually. The good news is they usually give warning signs, like uh, if your hard drive is making clicking noises right now, for example, first check to make sure it hasn't turned into a dolphin, then replace it, if it is still a hard drive. Um, but the bad news is that any kind of use will wear them out. For SSDs, reading from them a lot won't really wear them out very much, especially if you keep them running cool, but if you write to them heavily, you can kill a consumer grade model relatively quickly. So I guess I'd put it this way. In an environment where shock is an everyday occurrence, such as in a notebook or tablet, I would choose SSD every time. In an environment where that's not the case, then reliability to me is a secondary factor after I determine my performance and storage needs. Which leads us to the in-between solution, hybrid drives. These leverage the technology of hard drives and SSDs at the same time, but that's a topic that I've covered separately, so I'm just gonna leave a little link here for you for that. Now, speaking of hybrid solutions, an audiobook is kind of like a hybrid between reading a book and riding a motorcycle, you know, because it's informative and exciting. Okay, I was reaching a little bit there, but my segues can't always be perfect. The point is that if you go to audible.com slash techquickie, you can browse the internet's leading audiobook service with over 150,000 titles to choose from. You can go right now and pick up a great read like The Art of Procrastination by John Perry, or if you don't feel like it at the moment, <laughs> right? You can sign up for a membership to get a credit for one audiobook per month to use whenever you see fit. And the cool thing about that option is that the first one is on the house. So head on over to audible.com slash techquickie to sign up. Guys, like this video if you liked it, dislike it if you disliked it, share it if you thought that the information contained within it was useful, and as always, don't forget to subscribe to TechQuickie for more fast as possible episodes just like this one.